to everyone. Because we're an international university, my instruction will be in English. That's the way it goes in these days. So uh, maybe uh, we'll, we'll survive with the English. Uh, a warm welcome uh, to this program of Streaming Generale. Uh, this lunch, we have uh, classical music on the, on the menu. And it's chamber music presented by this famous Storioni trio. And we have also, uh, we are also part of the Storioni festival. And it's uh, lovely to see so many of you. And uh, I know that's for a reason, because this concert is for free. How great that is. So uh, lovely that you found a way to the University of Technology. We have a program that you can enjoy every week. Uh, but now it's uh, classical music, and I'm very much looking forward to the program. And um, uh, we will have strings, and we ha will have uh, saxophones this afternoon. We will start off with the Storione Trio, consisting of Mark Fosse on the cello, uh, Wouter Fosse on violin, and uh, Bart van der Roer on uh, the piano. And then we will follow up with uh, Sasha Witteveen, who will play a solo piece on the double bass, and uh, again, the Sorioni Trio, and we conclude with uh, the four saxophones, uh, consisting of um, Daniel on soprano, uh, Caterina on the alto, Pedro on the tenor saxophone, and Malfara on the baritone saxophone. So a lot of music to enjoy. And uh, without further ado, I would like to uh, wel welcome uh, the Storioni Trio. So give them a nice round of applause. So lovely to have them uh, again here uh, at our uh, university. And uh, yeah, you can see many more uh, uh, concerts and performances during the week. Check the, um, the site of uh, Storioni. Uh, but now uh, we're going to listen to the piece and you're going to introduce a little bit why it's such an uh, important piece because it's Liszt. And when I think of Liszt, I think of a lot of notes going on, a lot of virtuosity. But what's the happening in this piece? So, um just a little bit of background information. Liszt, he was a mega star, comparable to, um, I don't know, some of the pop singers right now. Um, everywhere his concerts were sold out, and he did come a couple of times to the Netherlands. It's a very beautiful anecdote. I will keep this very short, because I know we're on a tight schedule. Liszt came to Leiden, the university uh, city, and he was um, invited there by the fraternity um, to perform for them in the, in the concert hall. And um, he came on stage and he got a standing ovation right from the beginning, really wonderful. And um, they demanded him, of course, to play his famous pieces. But he said, yeah, before I play, why don't you sing something for me? Because I'm sure you have some fraternity songs. And Apparently, by the time they reached the end of the song, he was already behind the piano, improvising uh, a new piece based on the lyrics of, um, of the fraternity song. So just to tell you a little bit about Liszt, uh, absolute megastar, virtuoso pianist, but um, he made quite a journey during his life. Um, as a very young man, he was very interested in the virtuoso style of playing the piano, he made lots of new developments for piano technique, all very interesting. Then there is a um, second period in his life where he started traveling Europe and he took lots of the things he saw and experienced, he took them into his music. And there we already um, are a little bit in the piece we, we are going to play for you. But the piece Tristia from La Vallée d'Obermann he made a third version even, a first version very virtuoso, second version slightly less. And the third version, he was um, an old man, very philosophical, he became a priest. So the journey was immense from an absolute pop star into complete solitude. And he took out all the virtuoso stuff and ended with a very mysterious piece that we're going to play for you. Thank you. The Storioni Trio.
And now we turn to the double bass, played by Sasha Witteveen. Is the stool right here? Is it okay? Perfect. So I have a question for you. Why is the, the piece uh, called The Falling Seagull? Well, this is a good question. Uh, the Falling Seagull, this is actually what you will hear at the beginning and at the end of the piece. It's the sounds of the falling seagull. And I could tell you some background information about this piece. Because the interesting thing that you will hear is that this composer, who is also a double bass player, an American young composer, Xavier Foley, he mixed several cultures in this piece. So you will hear, for example, the Chinese culture, the Chinese violin called the erhu, and you will hear also the R&B, the rhythm and blues. And also you will hear an Irish folk dance. But it's also, of course, classical music. So what I really like about this composer is that uh, Xavier is like bending the elastics of classical music. And exploring all the possibilities and the sounds of the double bass. Thank you very much. A nice round of applause for Sasha Witteveen.
So you hear that seagull fall, didn't you? Yeah. Let's take up this strap. <coughs> So now it's the turn to the Storioni Trio again. And maybe I can ask the piano player a question about the piece. Maurice Ravel is popular among pianists, I guess. Is this one of your favorite pieces? Yes, I think it's um, the most beautiful piece for piano trio. Okay. So that's, that's uh, uh, quite an ambition. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's best not to say any, anything <laughs> more about it. But this is just the first movement. Uh, due to time. Um, next week on Friday, if you want to hear the rest, please join us. That's a, ver that's a very good advice. Also, if you'd like to hear more from Sasha, then tomorrow afternoon she will play in the in Musikgebouw. So now a nice round of applause for the Storioni Trio, Modere van Ravel.
trio to be seen and heard uh, many times uh, this, uh, this week during the Storioni Festival here in Eindhoven, famous festival for chamber music. And now we turn to the last uh, performance of this, uh, this afternoon by uh, Maat Saxophone Quartet. And um, they're going to play a piece by the famous Norwegian composer Edward Grieg. And I'm wondering if it's especially composed for saxophone or if it's an arrangement. Uh, no, it is an arrangement. Uh, it's the arrangement yourself? Yes, luckily we have a arranger and composer in the house, which is Daniel, our soprano player. So he made this arrangement, but it's original for a uh, four-handed piano, and he also made an orchestral version himself. Okay, thank you. But when can people hear m more variations of Greek? Um, yeah, you have more programs during the festival? Of uh, yes, yeah. uh, so we're going to play tomorrow. Well, from Greek, this is the only piece, but we will play other pieces also arranged, but also original for saxophone quartet. So that's tomorrow. Uh, Saturday uh, and next Thursday, 25th. Check the pro program on storioni.nl. A nice round of applause for Maat Saxophone Quartets. Thank you. 